Well, it's an exciting day at Garden Palooza, and I'm with Danny Ferguson from Ferguson's Fragrant Nursery. And Danny, every year you bring the most beautiful, colorful plants to kind of bring in spring. Yes, thank you, Judy. It's always so fun to be at this event. Well, you just brought some wonderful ones to share with us and the viewers, and so if you could start with this beautiful azalea. Okay, this is um, Azalea Gerard's Crimson, mm. and this is a really nice, deep pink flowered one. It gets three feet by three feet. Wonderful for early spring color. It is just popping. It is. It, it, you can't beat the color of that in the springtime. You know, it's really complimenting this little plant right in front. This is, this is Rock Daphne, Daphne Miorum. So this one's going to get 18 inches tall by Ooh, about two short. feet wide. And the smell is to die for. It Absolutely. Is and beautiful pink. It's gorgeous. It is nice, and it's evergreen. It's just a really nice plant in the garden. It is, and if you have an area that you know that is dry and you just don't know what else to put there, actually these love a dry place. Oh. Out of the irrigation, front of the border, gives you a great color. Nice, and right next to it, something looking very tropical. <laughs> this is a wonderful new bear's breeches, Acanthus mollus, and this is Tasmanian angel. And look at the variegation in this foliage. It, it is, is beautiful. It is so bright in a shady spot. It's like, put this, you know, where you need to lighten up your shade. Mm -hmm. It's going to get three feet tall by three feet wide in its foliage. And then the flower stalks are going to get four to five feet. Wow. In sort of a pinky white flower color. It's, wow. it's a new variety that is just to die for. Really dramatic. And then it kind of softens this one right next to it with the silver. This is another one of my favorites. This is Brunera Jack Frost with the silvery foliage and beautiful baby blue oh. flowers that look like baby's breath. It uh, does. <laughs> and so this one's great, again, for the shady garden and front of the border, 18 inches wide by about a foot tall, and the flowers are up another foot. So pretty. Wonderful. Pretty blue. And then this one has really nice kind of lavender flowers. Yeah, so this is another Daphne, and it's similar to the rock Daphne, but this is called Lawrence Crocker. And Lawrence Crocker's feature is that it repeat blooms throughout the entire summer. Nice. So you get that wonderful Daphne fragrance repeated and repeated throughout the season. Very similar in look to the rock Daphne in that it gets 18 inches tall and about 2 feet wide. Again, it likes the drier area in the garden. And just, I just think it's magnificent when it's blooming. I think every garden should have at least two or three Daphnes in it because of that fragrance. <laughs> at least. And then for some taller structure, this is a pretty plant. Oh, this is the Ribes, and that's the, the Alpine Current, mm -hmm. and this is King Edward VII. And the hummingbirds, if you plant one of these, you will make your hummingbirds so happy in the early spring. The hummingbirds <laughs> just dive bomb this to get to those flowers. And it's going to get six feet tall by about four feet wide. It's a nice one to add height to the garden, like mm -hmm. you said. Partial shade to full shade. It really grows nice. kind of on the woodland edge naturally. And so, Ooh, another great beauty. color. Very great nice. color for spring. Well, I think we should invite everyone to come down to Garden Palooza today to see Danny and all these lovely plants and talk with her. You'll just get so inspired to go out in your garden. Thank you so much. Thank you, Judy. Everybody come down to Garden Palooza. All right, thanks. Mm.